Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be testing out this Ithol ITS 100G-HW portable reverse osmosis water treatment system. A unit like this one is ideal for those of you who enjoy camping and traveling. Having a portable unit like this will ensure that you'll never be without clean drinking water. This system was sent to me by the company, but as always, you can expect a fair and honest review. If you decide that you'd like to purchase this unit after watching the video, then be sure to use the supplied 20% off discount code that's shown in the video description area. Okay, let's get started. Everything you see here is included with the unit, USB type A to type C charging cable, instruction manual, nice carry pouch for right here, these two connections. This one here gets placed in the water that you want to filter. This gets connected to the unit, which I'll show you in a minute. You have wastewater and purified water, and you also have your RO filter cartridge along with a hybrid filter cartridge. This portable RO unit has an internal six amp hour lithium based rechargeable battery, and I believe it's a 6.4 volt battery. Charges up with no problem using the supplied cord. When you plug this cord in, right over here behind this little cap, you're going to see a red light flashing where it says charge. So the top one is a power indicator, second one down is charging. The light will go steady red when it's fully charged. And keep in mind you can use a portable power station to charge this or even a solar panel. Down here is an RO light and a hybrid light. So when the filter's life nears the end, you're going to see either one of these lights activate, indicating that you're going to need to replace the filters. The replacement cost for these filters is between 35 and 40 bucks a piece. The weight of this unit is six kilograms or 13 pounds. Once you do have a full charge, you can expect up to 1.2 hours of use from this unit, and you'll be able to purify between six and seven gallons of water. According to the manufacturer, we're going to be taking a look. You should expect 250 ml or eight ounces of water being processed per minute. Now over here is a compartment. I like the design. That's where the filters are going to be inserted. If you look straight down, you can see what it looks like inside. And one side you're going to have the hybrid filter placed, which is on this side. And over here it says RO and that's where the other filter would be inserted. There are markings on top where it says lock and open, and in a minute I'll show you how to install both of those filters. The funny thing, this looks exactly like a toaster. When I first saw this, I was looking at it like, wow, could you put some bread in here while you're making water? Now let me turn this around and show you the other side. So right here, there's two openings. So the opening on the left side is going to be in line with the filter here, and that one is hybrid. So you're going to be getting wastewater out of this opening, and this side here is RO, so you're going to be getting your purified water out of this opening here. It's got these two little tabs. You want to make sure the white right here is your reverse osmosis output, so when you look at this, just make sure the white one is on the right and just clip it right on. Squeeze it to release. Now let's take a look at the other side of the unit. In case you're wondering, the handle is very good. I noticed if you're going to pick it up like this, it might want to tilt down. So just move your hand forward more and place your thumb on top and it's easy to lift and it stays perfectly balanced. Now over here is your water inlet, so you would pull this down. This would be submerged in the water that you want to filter. And then the other end, you just simply thread it in. You don't need Teflon tape, just tighten it down securely and you'll have no issues. Now this connection here, the tubing, appears to be all silicone. Now I'm going to show you how to install the filters in the unit. So looking at the RO one, you can see there's an unlock here and lock there. You want to get the RO filter. There's a little arrow 
right over here. You want to line that up with unlock, push the filter down and rotate it until it lines up with locked. So I'm going to go like this, push down, and then you're going to turn it until it locks. That one's installed. You're going to repeat the process for the hybrid filter. I highly suggest the company include some silicone grease to place on these O-rings to make installation much easier as well as removal. So the same thing here. I'm going to grab the arrow, put it to the unlock and rotate. So both of these are now fully installed. Now I'm going to connect up the hoses to the unit and then I'm going to take water from my shallow well and we're going to process it through this machine to make sure it works good. Okay, now that we collected our test water to make sure it can filter it extremely well using this system, I'm going to flush this first for about 10 minutes according to the manufacturer's instructions. I'll be using tap water for that just to make sure the filters are filled up and that the water is flowing through the system before I start using the water from my shallow well. If you look over here on the left side of the table, that's the inlet. It's down about three feet. I did that purposely to make sure that the system has the ability to lift that column of water up into the system to process it. So that's tap water over there. Over here, this one that's longer, goes straight down, that's wastewater. You can see on this side of the table, it's going to be collecting the wastewater. And then this one here on the right is your purified water, which is RO. So with all that connected, let me turn it on and let's see how noisy this unit is. Hopefully it's not. Push and hold for a few seconds. Wow, very, very quiet. Extremely quiet. Incredible. This is going to the collection bowl on the right side of the table. getting the air out of the tubing and out of the system. And right now we're getting RO coming out. Definitely quiet. The noise picked up just a little bit once it processed through the RO filter. I'm going to let this run for 10 minutes, then I'm going to switch to the dirty water. Okay, the system was run for about 10 minutes. The next thing I wanna do is take this and measure one cup, eight ounces or 250 ml. See how long it takes to get to that point. According to the manufacturer, one minute. I'm gonna start the count as soon as the water flows into the cup. Wow, just under 30 seconds. Okay, let's get this all set up again now to test the well water. Let's see if we can get some clear water out of that nasty water out of the ground. Okay, the well water is connected. It's over here on the floor. You can see it, it looks like green tea, even though it's very clear. And right here is another sample of it. An RO system that's working properly should be able to remove 90% of those dissolved solids. Let's turn it on and let it go to work. Wow. 
Okay, just to prevent my wastewater from overflowing, I shut this off. You can see the water is extremely clear here. What I'd like to do now is take a sample of this water and take a sample of the wastewater and take a sample of that input water and we're gonna compare all three. This is just distilled water here to dip the sensor head in before moving into the next collection area. So let's start with the original again. Showing 345, all right, let's rinse. Coming in one part per million because some of the dissolved solids are on the head of this test instrument mixing in that water, but at least we're having it reduced all the way down to give us a more accurate reading. So as I said, you wanna make sure it's at least a 90% reduction. So from that level, we wanna come in no more than about 37 parts per million. So let's take a look. 18, that is excellent. Hopefully you can see that, but it does say 019 now, so 19 parts per million. Very, very clean. And this water here should actually have more dissolved solids than this one here because it's gonna have the rejection water mixed in with it. Let me just do this first, and let's see. Yep, four, five hundred parts per million. Five hundred. All right, so this is rejecting way higher than 90%, probably 94% or 95% of what the dissolved solids were in the input water. Keep in mind, reverse osmosis systems are highly efficient at removing bacteria, viruses, and microorganisms from water. If you're still concerned that there may be something left in this water, you can always get yourself a small UVC sterilizing pen that you would put in water before you drink it to ensure there's no microorganisms in the water. As for chemicals, the great majority of chemicals will be removed from the water, but nothing is 100%. I'm gonna give this a try, see how it is. Take a little sample here. Hopefully it's good, because this came right out of the ground. Yeah, it actually tastes very good. Nothing wrong with it. Okay guys, that's it. Big thumbs up for this unit. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and share. Thanks for watching.